We're doing the respiratory system, and we will start with the uh, bronchial tree. And this right here, this is the hyoid bone. This is the thyroid cartilage, and this is the cricoid cartilage. Between the hyoid bone and the thyroid cartilage, we have this membrane that will carry the names of those two structures. It's called the thyrohyoid membrane. So hyoid bone, this is a bone, this is the thyroid cartilage, and this is the thyrohyoid membrane. It's the membrane that's between the thyroid cartilage and the hyoid bone. This will be the cricoid cartilage, and if you look at it, follow, it will be large in the back. So it's small in the front, large in the back. When we open it, it will look a little bit different. So this is the whole thing now. This is called the larynx, starting from under the hyoid bone, going all the way to here. This is called the larynx. That's the top part. And then you have the trachea, and these are called the C rings of the trachea because it it's only looks like a C. And if you look at it from the back, you see a sheet of muscle here. So it's not complete, it looks like this. And in the back you have the muscle. So these are called the C rings, ring after ring after rings, all these C rings together, that will make the trachea. After the trachea, you have two primary bronchi. This is the right and this is the left. Right primary, it's also called the main. So right primary or right main bronchus. This is the left primary or left main bronchus. And then you have the secondary, so primary. You have one primary and one secondary. One primary correspond to the right lung. So the right primary give the right lung. You have only one. The left primary will, go, will give the whole left lung. So the number of the primary bronchi correspond to the number of the lungs. You have two lungs, two bronchi, primary. And then you have the secondary. One, two, three in the right, and only two in the left. Okay, so one, two, three, these are the secondary bronchi, and they correspond to the numbers of the loops of the, of the lung that we will see in the next model. Then you have the tertiary, which are all, all these yellow, orange, blue, purple, green. So this is all the tertiary, and this will, will correspond to the number of the lobules. So one more time, we have only one trachea. Then we have two primary bronchi. Each primary bronchus correspond to the number of lungs. We have right primary bronchus give the right lung. Left primary bronchus give the left lung. And then secondary, we have one, two, three. We have three secondary bronchi. Each one of these correspond to one of the lobes. So we have three lobes in the right lung and we have only two loops in the left lung. And then you have the tertiary, which are all of these small ones. These correspond to the lobules, which is the contents of each lobe. So we have three lobes in the right, and each one of these lobes contain many lobules. This correspond to the number of these um, tertiary uh, bronchi. After the bronchi, the, the rest of the tree that we don't see at this point, but after the tertiary, you have uh, the bronchioles, terminal bronchioles, and then you have the alveoli at the end, but we don't see this in this model. Um, if you go back to this part, this will be the epiglottis, which can open and close, depending on if you're eating or something, it will close so that the food goes in here. In the back of this, this will be the esophagus here. So if it closes, the food will be forced to go down so it doesn't enter your bronchial tree, which is, this is the entrance. And if you open it, look at it again, this is the cricoid cartilage, and this is the rest of it. It's circling around. So put it back. This is the cricoid cartilage, again, small in the front, tiny in the front, and large in the back. And this will be the section of it. So if you open it, here it is. This is a cricoid cartilage, those two. Okay, it's larger in the back. So this is a cricoid cartilage, section of it, and this will be the thyroid cartilage. This is called the epiglottis, again, which closes an opening, an open, depending on are you breathing or are you eating. If you're eating, it will close. If you are breathing, it will open. And then you have fold, another fold, and there is a ventricle in between or a depression in between. So this fold is called the vestibular fold. 
this fold is called the vocal fold inside of this fold there are muscles that are called the vocal uh, muscles so vestibular fold vocal fold the vocal folds contain so if, if I remove this I will see inside muscle that are called the vocal muscles and this part here is the vocal ligament or the vocal cord okay this is called the vestibule or the ventricle uh, the other name for the vestibular fold which is the top one this is also called the false vocal cord and this is called the, the true vocal cord so if you're entering the air from here you're going to see the false first so the F goes with F false first so go in vestibular folds false vocal cord false first and then this is the true which is uh, the vocal um, cord the true vocal cord which is the vocal fold okay and that's it for this model